By the way, the conversion ratios don't have anything to do with the specific numbers you're given in the problem. That is, we're not saying that we really have only one mole of this molecule. We're not saying we only have one mole. We're saying that the periodic table told us the mass of one mole. So this is not the number of moles that we actually have in the problem. It's the number of moles that the periodic table is telling us about. The periodic table is talking about one mole of this molecule having this mass. All right, so your question was um, that you weren't quite sure what to put on the top here. But remember that what the periodic table gives you is the periodic table gives you conversions between grams and moles. The periodic table gives us conversions between grams and moles. So we know we have to put moles here. In particular, the periodic table tells you how many grams there are in one mole of something. The periodic table tells you how many grams there are in one mole of something. Okay, so, uh, so that would give us this. But we still haven't got to our target units, so we should continue. Let's talk about that a little. Now, you wrote down moles here. That's good. Did you write down the substance? This is moles of what? Okay, so we have to be in the habit now of always writing down the substance in addition to the units. Now, what are we going to put on top here? Well, what would be the best case? What units would we like to be able to put on the top here? What substance? Yes, yeah, so we have to keep putting in the substance. So we have to ask, um, uh, what's the conversion between moles of this and molecules of this? Now, I think the mistake that you were making is that you were trying to figure out how many atoms there were. But we're not trying to figure out atoms yet. We're not trying to figure out atoms yet. We're just trying to figure out molecules. So, it, uh, so it's true that there's seven carbon atoms in here and 14 carbon uh, hydrogen atoms and two um, oxygen atoms. But we don't care about that because we're not trying to work on it with atoms. We're trying to work with molecules. So do you have any idea what would be the conversion between moles of this molecule and molecules of it? Now the problem is that again now you're counting the atoms. You're figuring out how many atoms there are. Seven atoms plus 14 atoms plus two atoms. So let's write this. One mole of C7H14O2 equals six times 10 to the 23rd individuals. Now in this case, what are the individuals? The individuals are molecules of C7H14O2. Now, the mistake that you were making a second ago was, again, trying to count the individual atoms. But this did, we didn't say we had a mole of atoms. We said we had a mole of this molecule. So the individuals here are not atoms. The individuals are the molecules. If you have a mole of eggs, the individuals are the eggs. If you have a mole of kids, the individuals are the kids. 
if you have a mole of atoms, the individuals are the atoms, but here we have a mole of molecules, so the individuals are the molecules. So what should be the conversion here? There's 6 times 10 to the 23 of these molecules and one mole of this substance. We don't have any need so far to count the number of individual atoms because we're not trying to, that's why it's so good to put in the target units. We're not trying to find atoms, we're just trying to find molecules. Okay. That's why, again, it's so important to put in the substance. So this tells us what the individuals are. The individuals are molecules of this. Okay. Now we're ready to do our calculations because we've gotten units that match our target units. So our answer would be 4.16 times 10. Correct. 4.6 times 10 to the 15 molecules. Does that match our prediction? Well, we predicted we would have a lot of molecules. Well, yeah, this is a big number. So the part that gave us the most trouble here was this conversion. I think the reason is because um, up to this point, we've only been working with atoms. So we've only talked about how a mole could, in, uh, could be 6 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. But in this case, now we're working with a molecule. So now the mole represents molecules. So in this case, the individuals were molecules. Also, again, we've seen how important it is to always write down the substance. This is a mole of this type of molecule, so the individuals are the molecules.